welcome to AM Alcohol. Here are your hosts, Logan Wolf and Colin Wolf. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Hey, everyone. Hello. How's everybody doing at the table? Even though we've been talking for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. I, feel good. I, I hate, good. I fucking hate starting shows. Yeah. It's, it's so awful. Yeah. Um, well, let's start by saying we have a, f- a few guests today. Yes, we do. Um, we have uh, Jordan Garcia, better known to some of you as maybe Jordy Rob. Hey, how's it going? Oh, dude, I wanted to get that <laughs> horn app. So oh. I could have been like, beep, 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 when yeah, you said uh, his name. Is, is that what it's called, the horn app? I, well, yeah. we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got Jordy Rob. We got Tyler Wolf. Tyler's been on a couple times. Yep. Better known as Tyler Wolf. <laughs> the youngest brother. TJ. TJ. We never went, we never, that never stuck. Never stuck. No, TJ. you tried to get it going, but <laughs> I like the effort at least. And we have a peanut gallery of some sort. Yeah, we got we got uh, my manager and best friend Mills is here. Father Mills, otherwise known as Zach Mills. <laughs> I, like how, I like how he's otherwise known. <laughs> otherwise known as his real. Yeah, as I real didn't. Name. I didn't know. His, yeah, <laughs> otherwise known as we, what's your name? He's secondary. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know his first name for the first couple months that I knew him at all. And yeah, yeah, Von Mack, who's another kid we were, did, still didn't know it yet. <laughs> Two weeks ago, he's known him for two years and didn't know his first name. So yeah, we just call that's him so awkward. People like having you to ask somebody their yeah. name. <laughs> so like high school with again? people. We've been fucking talking I, forever. I, I <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> like I've met you four times. Yeah, yeah. I, I've known you for two years. Yeah, yeah. I lived at his. I lived at his house. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a weird time at night. He was just like, "Hey, what's your first name?" I'm like, "Go on Twitter." Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Figure it out. You I'm can, not telling yeah. you. Do some research for <laughs> once. You. I've done all the work. Yeah, he'll be uh, making he'll be making edit points and making sure we don't fuck up too much and and, and whatnot. Hanging out. So, yeah. Colin, what you got here? All right, I am unleashing uh, our first beer we're getting into today. Um, it's from Masthead Brewing in Cleveland, Ohio. It is a jalapeno IPA, and. We got some 16 ounce boys here. I was looking for the alcohol. Six six point eight is the alcohol content. So yeah, jalapeno IPA. I don't know. I've never tried one of these before. Me neither. I'm kind of nervous. Is it going to be like? I'm assuming it's going to be spicy, right? Or like? It better be. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I don't know how uh, drinking. Like I don't want to drink a spicy beer, but I'm gonna be a little upset if it's not spicy (laughs) with the name jalapeno. Spicy for sure. Are you guys IPA guys or no? I don't think you guys are. Uh, yeah, I've. More recently, I've gotten into okay. some IPAs. Yeah, so I get it. I understand. Everybody yeah. has their yeah. preference and yeah. the go-to, what they want to drink. What about you, Tyler? I'll just do the Natty Daddy because it's cheap. Natty Daddy? Really? That's what you buy? Anna? No, I guess not. Like if I not if I'm going out, I guess I'll buy like. <laughs> He'll be classy. Light, or, yeah. Oh yeah. He'll be classy. And get like a special class, occasion, you'll buy the Bush Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Natter days are for the boys. You guys like those? Yeah. Natter days. They're all right. They're Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Colin already took a sip. So. Oh, God. Y- you can start it off. Um, Dude, that's. You took a sip, too? Yeah. Okay. Hang you, on a second. You, you I need another. Cheers. I didn't know. <laughs> <You just laughs> cheers. Did you take a sip? I did. Okay, I should do that then, too. It's like salsa. That's so weird. It's I don't get spice. It's not spicy. But you can tell it's jalapeno though. I don't know if I I don't know, man. It's it's like peppery without the spice, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It tastes like a green pepper beer. Yes. Like a bell pepper. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, the second sip is definitely better. But maybe it's you don't feel you need it at to all. get into it more to really it's the Let aftertaste. It soak in your tongue. The aftertaste is the only time you really maybe. taste it. Yeah, a little bit. This would be perfect with like a quesadilla or something. <laughs> Dude, I think you're going to see like a case of yeah. something. Like, it'd be perfect with a case of Bud Light. You know? <laughs> yeah. Case Meaning of Dilla. Case of Dilla. Yeah, I don't know. I got mixed feelings. All right. On the official score, 6.2, I would go. I'm not in love with it. This one's different, man. This is a lot different. It's not bitter. Mm-mm. I think it gets better. Yeah. Dude, I could drink this. It's tolerable, but it's yeah, different. I know you could. I, I could do this. I, I, I could drink anything, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, is that a Just so you guys know, I can drink anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
didn't ask that, but okay. <laughs> Oh, six point two, Tyler. What do you think? Yeah, on a scale of like one to ten, mm-hmm. I get I get seven. Rookie score, okay, but not bad. What do you think, Jordan? You go ahead. Yeah, I would say I don't know a <laughs> six five, six point okay. five, yeah. six and a half. I do the packaging is pretty cool though. Yeah, I, I do take that into effect when I'm picking IPAs. The can, yeah. the can gets points. Whatever looks coolest looks, is usually uh, what I pick. Yeah, looks slick. I got to be honest. I can't, you know. Be untruthful here. I want to tell you guys the truth. I think I'm going to go five seven on this thing. Ooh, yeah. It's so. What's the highest rating you've ever rated something? It's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. He'd have to go back uh, and above listen. an eight. I might have had a nine in there somewhere. I don't know. Which one was it? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. You need well, an intern. Probably one you guys need these. an intern. We usually like yeah, try, we, try to save a we, can. We keep from all the, the cans that we do. Ooh, you should do it by scale. Oh, that would oh, be cool. Yeah, we that should. Was the lowest rated one. Damn, we're good. That's going to take some work, though. There's been Man, some bad ones. Get an intern. Mm-hmm. There's been some bad ones. That's what you do. You get man- You got a manager now. Yeah, that's, that's really like, dope. Yeah. If I didn't want to do that, I'd be like, hey, Mills, can you do it? Zach, are you, no. are you under... <laughs> do you have anybody else that you're managing, or is it just Jordy Rob for the most part? It's Jordy Rob right now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's, it's for how long? Um, Probably since... So I moved in with him last summer. I uh, lived with him for like four months. Yeah, four months. Uh, just while I was trying to, I was finishing up school, I was trying to find a full time job. So I moved in with him, and I was just like, "Man, I know he really, really likes music, and he's always been really involved in like the business aspect of it." So I just asked him, "Like, do you want to take on being my manager? I mean, yeah. we already work on music all day together and talk about it nonstop." Yeah. And yeah. He just kind of took it and ran with it. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, he's doing a really good job so far. I'm That's awesome. To see, you know, where we're gonna go with it, but yeah. So, father, would that be? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna, father Mills. I'm gonna start calling father too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something you have like a serious interest in? Like, would that be like a dream come true if you could do that like full time for multiple people? Yeah, man, I've always had like a passion for it. Um, I started running with uh, Seth Garza back when I was like a sophomore, like freshman sophomore in high school. It was like Rello. So I yeah, shout out to Rello. Yeah, I did. I did a lot of stuff with him. I mean, well, that's cool, man. Obviously, just learned more and more, like just being in that group of friends, and like then you start touching base on deals and how deals work, and you know. It's what it is, and it's always like something that I've clicked with. Yeah, dude, that's cool. It's my getaway. Yeah, not everybody can do it. That's for sure. No, you know, it's know. something that you can't necessarily, you know, teach a class on. <laughs> I mean, you could, but you just yeah. have. You need you like go. I don't know. You need to have that factor. You know, all right. the factors that right. Some day, some connections. Days, I mean, like it's nice, but then there's days <clears> where I get, hey, did we get proofs yet on merch? Do we get this yet on merch? So I'll go reach out to the merch guy where I'm trying to be buddy buddy with, and I'm like hounding him like do we got anything yet do we got anything yet yeah. mm-hmm. today he's like i'm back home right now for a few days with family i'm like okay man I, I, yeah. that's got to be that's got to go along with the job i yeah, feel I don't for sure like pestering people but right right and right. again you're trying to build a brand and all that and you yeah. get stuff done in time and in nice time like, yeah yeah and it really becomes worth it once you actually see the product that can develop from that kind of relationship you know what i mean because i don't want to have to be reaching out to people personally because mm-hmm. you know you got to keep those relationships you know pretty much good to be able to have someone actually do work for you and you do work for them and you have that collaborative i like to collaborate with people i don't necessarily want to talk about uh, the business side of things which right. i think every that's every, how it's how all like artists probably are like yeah. dude somebody else handle that yeah somebody that's well, good yeah, at it's that's not gonna it screw is. me over let me just work you same know, with like baseball players or yeah, yeah, exactly. any musicians they all have agents, agents or yeah, you know, they're not negotiating their own tr- contracts no. could you imagine no, that's way too much work. You yeah. can only do so much. You gotta focus on your craft. Yeah, exactly. Our so. graphic design is crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the, Jordy's wearing a shirt right now that he just made up. Oh, yeah. um, it's a, like his own off Louis Vuitton. And, right. Uh, yeah. On the yeah, back of it, he has a cease and desist. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, From Louis Vuitton. Shit. Yeah. No. So, yeah. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> that's tight. Yeah, this, this guy's out of this world, like just creatively and pretty much told him like whatever you do we're gonna love you do whatever you want give yeah. them full creative control yeah. and let them ride it that's out awesome. at the end of the day we'll make our tweaks but either way I mean, he'll send us stuff yeah. like this is amazing right yeah. that's cool to have someone like that on your team yeah. absolutely extra creativity yeah. never heard of that. absolutely Zach Haffo, man. yeah Zach Haffo great designer from Gibsonburg Ohio actually nice. Nice. a lot of, lot of, lo- local, lot of local talent, talent. yeah, yeah. hey <laughs> knock it off drink you stop it you now. stop <laughs> you st- don't don't stop it don't do it <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, might as well go ahead and ask this right now. Jordy Rob, 
So how he's got a new uh, EP out, by the way, dude. Thanks for it's, nothing. Yeah, it's it's that fucker's killer, man. Yeah, you guys like I it. I love it. I've played it a lot, dude. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. It's a little different than the stuff that I've done before. It is. But yeah, I think it's a good different. And me too. So yeah. same. Yeah, moving same a good way. I think and it's more positive yeah. sounding. Yeah, yeah you know? exactly. That's the big thing with I want to capture projects because it was short too. So it was what six songs? Six mm-hmm. songs. Um, so you can listen to it all in twenty minutes. But oh, yeah. I want yeah. I want to create projects to where you're able to like capture moods. That's my big thing. I feel like it all kinds of has the same mood. Yeah. Even though all the six songs are different, right. they still kind of had the same mood and same vibe about them. So, um, yeah, that was cool. Mills was a huge part of that. Wolf, actually, Tyler Wolf, was a huge part of making that happen as well. Uh, and we actually have a second one on the way. So it's going to be a two-part project. Oh, nice. Yeah, so. Like under construction, or is it finished? Or we, are you not allowed to say anything yeah, yet? So, no, yeah, so I just finished the roughs, actually, last night. So I just got to go through and do the final mixes um, and the final masters. So I'm saying by July 4th, it'll be out. Ooh, that's everywhere. really soon. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. couple weeks. We've been working on it. Been working great on it for. Great stuff is coming. Yeah, great, great stuff. stuff is coming. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for nothing was the, was the first <laughs> half of the project. Thanks for everything is the uh, second okay. half. Okay. The project, so that's where we tie it all yeah. together. So it'll be a seven song EP, nice. um, and it'll kind of be a yin and a yang of what the first one was. So that's cool. That's really neat, yeah. dude. That's I, really cool. Yeah, and I'm excited. I've, you know, love, love, love that EP a lot. Yeah. We'll play. We'll put it on loop all the time and just let it ride. Yeah, I heard it's, you guys on the last episode play it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I, gave you a little, I hope that's cool that we. You know, shot, shot it out. No, absolutely. I could see Colin's dance moves, I feel like, through <laughs> listening to it. Dude, I was like, about. I need to play this song at my wedding, man. This <laughs> is going to be awesome. Oh, my God. I played that song for, which I probably already said this, but I played that song for Briley. Right. Who is this? You know, she's like, she's like, this is like, I was like, this is Jordy. She goes, it is? Yeah. Not in like a, but just like, it sounded that good. Yeah, you no. know. Where I was like, yeah, this is like radio, you know, you, is. this is something you hear on the radio. And the quality was good too. Do you still record from home or yeah. you have a studio? How's that? Yeah. Process? So I just, we have a little room in me and Tyler's house where we just, we call it like the office and we go in there and I have my mic set up and I have my monitors, my computer, and we record everything at home and then mix it all the vocals. We work with uh, independent producers through BeatStars. It's a website and application where independent producers and independent artists get connected and then uh so i just take whatever they made on the beat and then wolf wow. actually has been getting into production and this kid you guys know he can sing yeah oh, yeah so you guys have known that he started yeah. he started tracking his own vocals and that's uh, awesome yeah i don't know I, I don't know how he feels about this but he's actually on one of the songs that's in coming out in the next ep i'm so excited cool. i'm really yeah. excited yeah. for that really nice. it'll be uh it'll be a cool little surprise but yeah it's, it's a really that good sounds song. like a really useful tool that you can I don't know, at anybody like can get started easier yeah. with. Because, I mean, a lot of rappers or whatever make their own beats, and that's like an extra thing that you have to worry about piling on top of all your work. Yeah. So if you can, you know, get together with a producer and make it work, I don't know. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely helps. Like, the more that you can do by yourself, obviously, is, is the better because you're not waiting on other people. You don't have to deal with paying other people right. once you figure mm-hmm. it out. So right. I just got really good at, like, figuring out how to do my own vocals and then now I can help other people with their vocals for yeah. instance but production would be the next thing that I would want to tackle yeah. to be able to do the, the entire thing mm-hmm. like yeah. in house that's the dream it's that's always the plan it yeah. seems like everybody does that yeah and it crafts your sound way more unique to you when you're able to do everything so yeah, um, yeah that's the next step but it's been a good time so far it's been a good year I'm glad that that's I'm finally great. back to putting out music yeah. I took a little break for sure um, but I think it's the break that we kind of needed yeah so. sometimes you need that yeah you really do everything yeah. Should gather I, your emotions and then yeah, you set them on a hiatus. I stopped playing for stronger. a couple of years altogether, you know, barely picking up a guitar at all. And, yeah. you know, recently, me and my buddy Tony Rodriguez, we put out an EP not too long ago. Yep. Revive the Truth Is Project. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. It's on Spotify and Apple Music, all that jazz. So, what made you guys pick it back up? Um, Well, we kind of got together with a producer and he was, you know, kind of wanting us to go record with him. And we're like, sure. So we went down, recorded two songs, recorded another two songs, and kind of was the motivation we needed to start writing more and getting together more and playing more and just thinking about writing and getting back into it. It's like it gives you a reason to play. You know, if you're just playing songs in your basement and not doing anything with them, it's like that can get old after a couple of years. But right. I don't know. And then I think we're going to play a show here in August, which you guys are all invited what? to. Obviously. Where's that at? So it's going to be in Woodville. Woodville. It's uh. I think it's called an acoustics or something like that, which oh, okay. is every kind of the vibe we are, but right. it's like a little festival, which is going to be neat. So yeah, we've be been really practicing cool. for it, you know, so nice. We'll see. 
I'll let you know. If Jordy, are you, nice. do you have anything lined up to Yeah, nothing. Perform? So nothing live yet. Okay. I think we really want to push content out first. Okay, yeah. uh, I think on the docket is obviously getting the second project done out. Yeah. Um, and then we actually have merch in the works. He, Mills kind of alluded to it a little bit. So yeah. we got we got a couple of designs going. We want to do um, more of a, I don't know, efficient line the first time. So it'll just be like one long sleeve, one T-shirt, a hat, and shorts, I mm. think is what we're going with. But uh, the designers helped us rebrand it a little bit and mm-hmm. rebrand like the Jordy Rob outlook and how it's going to look um, public facing moving forward. So is this going to be like online available online or? Yeah, we're probably going to set it up through Shopify, um, def- depending on how many uh, like pre-orders we can get in. Because I've been talking to people and I feel like that's been the main ask. Like when are you coming out with right. new merch? So yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll take care of the people that have been asking about it first. And then anything that's left over, we'll set something up to we're able to merchandise it and sell it. But that's really I mean, that's where you're going to get your money as an artist is selling merch. So if anybody is thinking about supporting local artists by buying shirts, that's how you do it. You don't really yeah. make too much money off of the actual music. Off the shows and stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. But well, yeah, then after that, once we get the merch out um, and we're able to start pushing the brand a little bit, the next step would be getting a live show together. But I don't want to do something with just a backtrack. Like, yeah. I always thought that was so lame. Karaoke? Like singing <laughs> yeah, along yeah. to your own songs is yeah. the, just the weirdest thing in the world to me. So um, I want to get actual musicians up there. I've been talking to... Daniel Dolan, he wants to come on as the guitarist. Dude, he is. Know. That's cool. Dude, man. He can good. play that fucking guitar like no yeah, other. Really? Yeah. yeah, he's pretty sick at Rocket League too. So if you guys ever played that video game, <laughs> I've heard of it. Guitar Man Dan Eleven, you should add him. He's okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Dan. I just got so lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, that took a turn. <laughs> Yeah, but no, he wants to come on as a guitarist, and I want to get a uh, drum kit in this kid's hands over here. Drum kit would be cool. And then at the same yeah. time, you can have backing tracks, yeah, yeah. but not pl- lo- not just playing the whole song. You right. can have it, you know, doing you know keys or whatever. Portions, yeah. Or keeping the beat, whatever you need to do. Yeah, I think that's the only thing we'd be missing was somebody that can play the keys. So you know how, there's anybody out there. Right. You know how 21 Pilots plays live? Yeah. That's yeah, kind of how yeah. I see you doing, doing it. Because it, they, yeah. they play their instruments, but there's only two of them. So right. obviously they have the backing there's, tracks. Yeah, music in the background. Yeah. But, yeah. They like fake act like they kill themselves too, which is crazy. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? Straight just I mean, on I stage, don't. Like, they, they like put a fake gun to their I head and put it back really? yeah. Then they do a gunshot, and then the whole like area, the whole arena will just go black, and then really? they'll just come back in completely different outfits like thirty seconds later. Oh no, their shows are wild. Show, they're coming yeah. up, I think, in Columbus. They're playing a two nighter uh, nationwide that I want to go to. Have you ticket prices are insane though, man? Oh yeah, because that's where they're from, right? They're from Columbus, yeah, Columbus. hometown. Same thing as where they're from. <laughs> Otherwise, <known as. laughs> Good thing I said that. So, do you get together with like any other local artists and collaborate? Yeah, because so, I, I don't know if I've heard you like with too many people. Right, a couple yeah. times. But. I, I usually won't do it unless it makes sense for the sound that I'm going for. Like, I'm not just gonna hop on somebody random song because they asked me to if i like it yes i will but Do a like, lot of people ask you or? um i mean i've had people like hey you should hop on a track i'll be like okay yeah that's cool but like you know what i mean when <laughs> yeah. it comes down it's not to a actually professional doing, way of yeah, saying yeah. it no and yeah you, there's proper channels that you should go through um but also i don't want to be stuck in like the local artist mentality where people look at you and they're like oh he's just like a you know, Fremont rapper. I hate being called a rapper too. That's yeah. like the, the worst thing ever. But what do you prefer? Um, just artist, artist creative. Yeah. Like whatever. Yeah. I think most rappers are like that anyways. Like Probably. nobody wants to be put or yeah. defined into a box because there's really no genre. I get it. There's no genre of music anymore. I Not get, really. I mean everything music's is, music. Right. It's, I mean obviously there's different kinds and that's what a genre is, but mm-hmm. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's good or bad. Yeah. You know? It's good or it's bad. Good or bad. Yeah. That is a awesome way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. Just good or bad. But yeah, I I work with uh Von Mack a lot. He's on a new project, so he's a younger kid. Um he's probably what, f- three years younger than us. Yeah. He's um like he's on the new one. Yeah, he's on the new project. But I do think a lot of other local artists um are pretty good. I think the Fremont music scene is starting to come there's around. There's some a talent, bit. man. I mean, there there's a lot of garbage too. Oh yeah. There there's, always is. I mean Yeah. Just with the internet it's so easy to make a song and put it out that there's yeah. just bound yeah. to be an oversaturation of just right. terrible music. Yeah. But but at the same time, a lot of lot of talent out there is that Von Mack, he's from Fremont? Yeah, he's from okay. Fremont. Yeah. He went to Ross with us. Okay. Um, we hang out with him quite a bit, but yeah, super talented kid, super talented kid, a lot of potential. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. How does like somebody with, you know, good talent, great talent, they got good content, but they're local. How do you break out of that local? How do you get your shit heard? Yeah. That's like the, ugh, yeah, like, yeah. how do you do that? Yeah. I think that's the thing. Obviously we're trying to break yeah. um, with what we're doing here, but I think, uh, obviously videos will help a lot so we do we have been reaching out to videographers as well to try to bring somebody right. on and do an actual professional looking video because 
What if you're looking at something on the internet, you don't necessarily know where they're from as soon as you see it. So if there are people, if you're using like your Facebook ads or your Instagram ads or whatever it may be, it's going to reach people that are local, but not necessarily in Fremont. And then they'll start. I get it. Ca- catching on, is, but right. really you've got to spread it. It's yeah. And then live shows, I mean, are so it. still so important. So that's what we want to push in the fall a lot. Just going places, even if it's like Cleveland, not everybody there's probably going to be the majority of the people there that don't know who I am, but if right. I can get on a ticket somewhere, I think right. that's I think that's how you start, dude. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how you start. Yeah. You, you got to still perform in front of people that don't know you, mm-hmm. and you know, then yeah. word of mouth becomes a big thing, and yeah, you know, it's like, hey, guess I heard this dude at you know, it's a Cleveland show, Jordy Rob, check him out, and, and then always, you got the merch all ready to go, yeah. exactly. So yeah, you're making your a little going. bit of money, you, and then they're free advertisement with that shirt rolling around. Yep. I don't know. It's, and it only yeah. takes one person, yeah, yeah. to hear it. And you, right, gotta, like, one you don't big, need to gather everybody's attention, just yep. that mm-hmm. one right person. And if you focus on the people that are actually your fans from the beginning or people that are even coming on like now, um, that's important, just having those super fans because those are the people that are going to spread it word of mouth for you. Like right. I can tweet and post and do whatever um, over and over again and spam people, but that's but not... But you only have so many friends that you can reach by yourself. Exactly. You need other mm-hmm. people to s- s- yeah. spread it for you. Yep, right. And that's the tough part. And really, if the product is good enough at the end of the day, I think that's going to speak Oh yeah, more volumes than any like marketing campaign or any scheme or trolling or anything could really do. Right. It's, a, it's a combination of that and, you know, venturing out and playing shows, I think. Yep. I think Great. if you can do those, if you can be successful at doing both of those things, you got a good shot if you can keep it going. Right. I think at the end of the day, it's just content. Mm-hmm. Find it. I mean, there's no such thing as too much content. That's how you break the barrier. Yeah. I mean, it's shitty at the sound, shoving stuff down people's throats. Yeah. But, you yeah. Know what I mean, you want them to hear it, you got to be persistent. You do. You know, you just keep pushing it to the next person, next person, next person. It's just, there's no such And don't stop people. writing music. I was going to say, yeah. and that drives you to keep putting out better mm-hmm. and better stuff, too. Try to where, top, try like, to top all, that shit. We're all, like, excited about this last EP you put out, and it's awesome, but, you know, it just makes you look forward to the next one. Like, yep. okay, what's he got next? And it's coming out yeah, so exactly. soon, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah like, I was, already, I was already working on that. I was finishing the project one, and I was already... Pretty much getting done with hit, project hit two already, as yeah. I was doing it. Like it's been it's got a lot in the tank. It's been a year, That's and then good. yeah, we have songs ready for after that too. So got some in the chamber. I yeah. like yeah. that. You always gotta have. So that. it should be. I yeah, like that, right. man. Yeah, like the yeah. single that we dropped yesterday was that we've had that for a year. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. That, that right? mm. one more yeah. Time. I like that. I was gonna ask you, is that just a, a floater, or yeah, is that so like a part go, of an EP? Yeah, so. Yeah, so that's like, is that kind of like your single? Or? Yeah, yeah nice. there's, and there's no real like point of singles anymore, like in the digital era, but I still think it's nice to be right. like, even if you take like a week or two off, you drop a song and then you say, all right. Got you. And I don't like the whole like, hey, I'm going to drop something on this day. I'd rather just do, do it. Do it. And, then, yeah. and that's what it sucks is we told people that we were going to have like a five week rollout and obviously you get tired of working on the same thing every single day. Yeah. So we're hosting something new is. and I'm like. This has to be on the second project. So we push it back weeks yep. out. And like I said it to him, and I was like, you know, I really hate to say it because I really want this project to be out. But I think this song and this song should be on this project. Yep. Yeah. 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 I was thinking that too. I just didn't want to say it. Hey, yeah, like it's good to like have another person that, that oh, agrees absolutely. with you. Then it gives you confidence. The thing is, is mm-hmm. like, I hate being on that business aspect where, like, hey, we told people we're yep. going to have this out next week. Yeah. But quit sending me new stuff because it's pushing it back. So I want this on. The yeah, yeah I get it. I get yeah. it. It's so yeah. hard because you want everybody to hear it like right there. Because you just came. Yeah. It's fresh. It's new in your mind, and you're in love with it. Yeah. I yeah. get yeah. it. It's I understand that. Be, you know. And when you work with the, work on the same song over and over again, like one more time, oh, that yeah. just came out what two days ago. Yeah. Like I've had that since yeah. January of at least a year. 2018, I think. Yeah. It's you been over that's a year. Like I, that's I, when I started working on it. Yeah. I know you love that song because you wrote it and it's your baby. But how sick of it are you? So, so sick. Dude, I know. Like, it sucks saying that. But I don't even listen to it. Yeah, I have I, songs that I put out because, dude, we've demoed it. We've practiced yeah. it. We recorded it. I listened to it 20 times. I'm like, I hate this song. So over but the does song. Does it change, like, when you know that everybody can hear it? It does. does it change, like, it does. Okay, I like yep. this song yeah, again. Yeah, it does. Because then you go back and you listen to it, but you, like, realize that other people, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like so you like you listen to it with the realization that someone else is listening yeah. to it, and the first you're like, time, yeah. then it kind of brings you back full circle. Yeah. yeah. Well, you text well, you text me yesterday, and you were like, 
to think I was never even going to release one more time yeah. as like, like at all. And yeah, I, was I really like, wasn't going to. I was like, I told you, and now I was getting like some good resonation from it. Yeah, yeah it's it was, keeping you in the loop too, man. Yeah, it's yeah. just resonating so well with people. It's, yeah, I loved it when it first dropped. So. If you have ever doubt to put anything out, put it out. That's for anybody that's creative or is trying mm-hmm. to do anything. Just no. do it because it's not like the alternative. Your fans what? are going to be like, oh. Yeah, this song sucks. I'm done with them. The alternative like, is, the, yeah, <laughs> if no, you ever put out that doesn't song. happen. No, and, literally. And if you don't put it out, it's gonna sit in my phone forever and yeah. just be all that time wasted. Yeah, that right. You did on trying to create something that you initially did it because you absolutely loved it. So just put it out. It doesn't even it's have to be do. on major platforms though. No, I mean if you no. have something, if you have some content, put it out on SoundCloud. It's yep. free. Somebody's yeah. gonna like that shit. Listen to it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, very true. SoundCloud, YouTube, any of those free ones. YouTube, YouTube. Low key, the place I think where yeah. a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I mean, for people that either don't have money or don't want to pay for streaming services, a lot of people use. It's got to be the most you know viewed app, wouldn't yeah. you say? I know that's Wolf's uh, playlist uh, playing of choice over there. Isn't YouTube, it? YouTube. He's the YouTube DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, they have, work. I just you like can, looking at music videos. You too, can pretty much stream songs off of YouTube. I mean, for the most part, right? right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I yeah. think YouTube has more songs than like Spotify. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You, know? yeah, you bet, can't I'll find it on Spotify. Sure. It's on YouTube. It's on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, right. Yeah. If it's not on YouTube, then it's nowhere. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. exist. Yeah. It doesn't exist. <laughs> then you dreamt it. Have you it not, not ever real. found any song on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> you dreamt it. Yeah. And then you, you go on there and you find every other version but the one you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Right. Isn't that weird how YouTube just like integrated themselves into our lives? Yeah. And there's only one YouTube. Like there's no other like video streaming like like. Coco's. No, yeah. Coco's. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good. Hey, say. Hey, that. are we starting? Are we starting a business? Well, how would you? How would you ever top YouTube? Huh? How, how would you, ever, you top? ever top? Hey, YouTube? here's how you start. No ads, and yeah. then you build yourself up. I, I need more from you guys. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how no you make ads. money without ads. No, okay. No ads. How you make no money? age restrictions. No age. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. How are you gonna make money with no ads? Well, how did YouTube start? They didn't have ads. At the beginning, they didn't. Nope. No, not at the beginning. Okay, Free Facebook didn't have ads at the beginning. Only one. But that's ad. how they make. But, that, but that's how they are eventually will get ads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. No, I think I think with shorter or, or, ads. or charge everybody a dollar a month. Yeah, everybody would do that. No, or I think what I'll they bet. do. YouTube's free. I know, right? But if it came out and with no ads, there was no ads. I feel like YouTube Red tried to do that though. I don't think. I guess they, that's like Pandora YouTube having YouTube the TV. premium, oh, no yeah, ads, right. and people do it. That's yeah. kind of a lot. Yeah. It's but not, you gotta have but all the videos. Like, how long does it take to get all those videos on YouTube? What do you like? Mean? All the videos that are ever on YouTube. Yeah, user, oh, users post them. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah but I'm you, saying how long does that take to get users for them to post all the shit? Like, well, if it's, it's free at first, then that's what's going to attract them to it. But I would say that they're not even really making their money on ads. I think they're making their money on the data that they're <laughs> gathering from people, from users watching the videos. So, like, what they tag the videos, right? You can yeah. sell you break it You down. can sell cookies, by the way. Do you yeah, know what that no. means? Yeah, that's what they do. That's what Spotify, yeah. iTunes, all that does. They don't even make that's money how off we'll of get, subscriptions. That's how we get Jordan, money. Jordan, right, mm-hmm. I'm still waiting on what you're going to bring to this table. <laughs> 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 well, I think there is competition. I mean, I know one that's like super minimal with YouTube, and that'd probably be like, what, Vimeo or whatever? Vimeo. Yes, yeah. you're yeah. right. They got me, a lot of music videos. Yeah, and, Vimeo's one. Yeah, you're right. Title does videos, Tidal's I think. like a little tapping in between like music streaming. But not a lot. I mean, I can't name more than that, really. No. Oh, yeah. Twitter You'd videos. You think there would really. be more of a, you know, a Burger King McDonald's rivalry with that <laughs> shit. Well, remember, like Instagram didn't have videos that were longer than thirty seconds. Yeah, now it's a minute, right? Twitter yeah. didn't have videos that were longer than thirty seconds, but now all of a sudden they can have longer videos. And Vine. What the fuck happened to Vine, Vine dude? Yeah. It, was, it was short-lived. I know. I love Vine. Vine was awesome. <laughs> it was short and to the point. Yeah. I didn't have to sit through any bullshit. It was all it, good just shit. To everything watch. in six seconds. Was, six seconds, yeah. yeah. It was six a seconds and you would laugh your ass off. Yeah. It was a six second joke. Yeah. And yeah. that was the hard part of finding yeah. that formula yeah, to get true. Every, all your points out in six seconds. Six seconds, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I feel like that's going to come back at some point. Maybe like in 30 years, there'll be another version of that or something. Yeah, I think they have. Somebody well, TikTok's kind of like that, right? Oh, TikTok? Uh, yeah, there's something. What is TikTok? I don't know. We should. I thought it was thought, like. Am I old? Yeah, no, I don't. I'm too old for it too. <laughs> no, it was like, it was like, like, you like Peyton upstairs, she knows what, what it is. Say, I thought Peyton you like lip sync something yeah. that's already and dance and been done. Dance and stuff. But it's kind of like vibe. I feel like there's more to it than that though. Now I think that's maybe how it started. Is this beer know, giving never, you guys heartburn? God, we're old. Not yet, but it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> we got heartburn. Dude, and I have I'm no idea what TikTok is. Bad heartburn over here. Already, this instant heartburn. 
Oh, it's kind of getting me drunk. I want yeah. some. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I want some. Yeah. This shit's. Uh, let me get some of that heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> let me get that heartburn ale. It was ten ninety nine for, for one can. Mm-mm. No, the whole shebang. <laughs> So now that four, you guys are four cans, good deal. Now that you guys are pretty, de- <laughs> it's pretty good, deal. pretty deep into this, would you ever get a jalapeno IPA again? Never in my life, not even once. And you were the one that scored it. A yeah, I thought you liked it. <laughs> the first co- maybe a sixteen ounce before, before it gave me much. heartburn. It maybe, was good, you know, like maybe a twelve ounce I would do. Like sixteen is just a little. You more. Scored a seven. <laughs> <and> never <laughs> get out of here. I can't trust you, you as far as I can throw you. <laughs> Your scale is all fucked. <laughs> scale is fucked. Seven means it's fucking and awful. And it wasn't even like a seven point. It was a seven. <laughs> seven. Seven flat. God, this, this kid. <laughs> well, that was before it gave me fucking heartburn. And... <laughs> the fact that it's from Cleveland is, is the only reason why I get scored it so high. Five point whatever, seven, whatever. Do you, get, do you get heartburn from any other beers? I've never had heartburn in my life. This that is not true. First, How first do you know it's heartburn? No way. First, right, here we go. Now we're going to get into <laughs> first timer over here. What are you saying to us? First, right? first timer <laughs> heartburner. <laughs> yeah, my buddy Logan, he like showed up. We were in BG one night, and uh, he showed up with like a six pack of uh, Bud Light. Well, he's sitting there drinking it, and then I noticed he had his hands kind of like gripping this one beer weirdly, <laughs> and uh, he had like those Trulies in his oh, pockets. Yeah. Oh no! Like hiding them, like he didn't want to like show any other dudes. That I, get him. I get it. I get it. He drank like he drank like three Bud Lights, and he got heartburn. And he's like, I was like, what are you drinking? Is that like a smeared up? He goes, no, it's a Truly. It's a Truly. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I got real bad heartburn. This like kind of mellows it out. I'm like, what? You shouldn't be ashamed, dude. I'll go heavy on those white claws. Yeah, what, okay, that's what's like the, the same thing. What's the deal with those? It's a why is I know, but why is everybody so addicted to them all of a sudden? I'm not addicted to them. Um, I, you might be. <laughs> um, this no, is I, I quit. The, you drank the piss out of those things for a while. <laughs> I quit though. <laughs> that's good. Well, I got really sick off of them. Um, what's Dude, the that's what happens with every alcohol with you, it seems like. <laughs> Maybe I just got a you, shitty... Well, you fucking drink, hammer I, it into the ground, get really <laughs> sick off it, and then never drink it. I get a shitty... I have a <laughs> shitty immune system. Um, and to answer your question, the appeal, um, it's, it's, it's easy to drink when you're hungover. This is just my answer. Um, <laughs> it goes down really. It, there's. It doesn't taste like alcohol. It tastes like yeah, real. That's clean. That's what I think it is. I think it's like something different, and that's just like people that are sick of beer. Or well, wine I like or... seltzer, like Alka Seltzer. I'll just drink that. Like when you're sick, yeah. Put that in a cup and ice, and I plot, like plot, the taste fizz, of that. Fizz. Yeah, it's fizzy. Oh, what a relief it's it it's kind of good for your stomach. It, get, it like relieves your stomach. Good one. I was afraid to drink Alka Seltzer because it was like then they had those commercials too where they toss those things in to clean dentures overnight. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I don't I like, like that. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, that. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm cool. Is it the same thing? I'm cool. I mean, it's got alcohol in it. No, it's not alka seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> seltzer water. It's like hard seltzer mm-hmm. water. Oh well. So hard All carbonated right. water. Like a sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah that's, that's a good way of putting it. Flavored, but the flavor isn't even really there, is it? I it's mean, it's very it's like faint. faint. It's yeah. faint. It's like a hint of lime or a hint of berry. Yeah. Like, so they're actually they're actually pretty, <laughs> pretty bland. I mean, yeah. the ones I've had. Well, they're five percent, and you can put those babies back. Yeah. So, but and I'm off of those for a while, regardless. You think they could ever make a drink? I think I've said this to Jordan or something, but that could <laughs> this is so a new invention probably. that could sober you like just like oh, yeah, drinking alcohol gets you this. drunk if you're drunk as shit. A drink that just oh like a re- you like, up, a re- like right away like a reverse beer yeah. like water like reverse alcohol. like water <laughs> like water <laughs> like a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> No, be like, oh, something drink. to take two your... of them drinks. I'm fucking sober now, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I'm so sober. <laughs> I'm so sober. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know. Shark, your, shark Tank. It takes you your blood that alcohol that level should. and just lowers it. I think that's an IV. Super actually. fast. Yeah. <laughs> How do we dude, get everybody to have a drinkable case in their car? <laughs> drinkable IVs. Let's make it happen. Drinkable <laughs> IVs. How do we mainline? <laughs> An IV, but not... Something that goes directly into the But with not using needles. I don't know. All right, Colin, I'm going to need something out of you. I don't, even, yeah. I don't even want to think if about it. If it's not that. now, I'm going to need something Dude, out of you. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> this is going to be the this weird... my head hurt. This is going to be the weird podcast. Literally the weird one. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, i got to take a piss. I'm going to take a halftime. Yeah, i And then we can come too. back with uh, with the new beer and uh, maybe do our game. And I can't drink any more of this. What? I really got to... Oh, do you really? finish it. You know the rules. Well, if he's got heartburn, I get it. No, you got to fight through it. 
I need Are you okay? I, I think tums. I have one Tums left. Just Let's burp. Go. I can't. It's like you've stuck never burped right either. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna That's have a um, super weird end of the first. <laughs> it's stuck right here. <laughs> stuck right here. Cut it. Ten minutes of silence. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in a minute. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. We've had a lot of fun. Let's give it up for the other bands that played today. Land of Promise. Weren't they great? Bone Street. Love those guys. It's been my honor to share the stage tonight with Russian Gummy Bear. I'm a big fan. We're going to close the night by doing something a little different for you. This next song is for the downtrodden, the weak, and the helpless. I want you to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And just when you want to give up is when you need to start pushing forward. Put your head down and work even harder. And this song is for those that need that reassurance that you are good enough. No matter what may have happened, you can still be loved. And this song is for those that are searching for something that is to be uplifting right now. So if you're ready to rock, put your motherfucking hands together. And this song for all the pregnant women out there. I just want you to know that I know what you're going through. And also, whoever threw the stink bomb on stage, I'd like you to know it really stinks up here now. If we could cut that out, that'd be great. Okay, we're almost out of time here. You've been a great crowd. Let's do this again soon. Good night, Waco, Texas! All right, all right. We are back with our sacks attached this time. <laughs> no more pussy footing around, boys. <laughs> just like last time. Speak and the time before yourself. that. Sacks have pretty much always been attached. <laughs> Did you just say speak for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Heartburn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the sacks got to go. <laughs> all right, all right. Kyle Bell, what you got? All right, we're diving Part- into a... This is from Bell's. Uh, it's called the Pool Time Ale. It's not called the pool time ale. It's just called pool time ale. <laughs> it's a uh, Belgian-inspired wheat ale with cherry juice. Mm. Um, Gotta say, I have some high hopes for this. Yeah, because we'll it looks dynamite. <laughs> and it's the same as a Budweiser, so we got a 5%er here. 
Five percenter. Okay. So could this be my new beer of the summer? We'll see. Cheers. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to drink after the cheers, but okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey. Where's that cherry at? Where's, where's that? <laughs> I think that's all I taste is cherry. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, maybe give it a couple sips. Probably shouldn't have did the jalapeno one before this. We <laughs> always good after taste. Um, I don't know. It's actually not bad. I like it. Yeah. yeah it's actually really smooth. Yeah. I like it. It's a lot smoother than that bullshit. Yeah, would I give that a 6-2? That's pretty high if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can't. You can't. <laughs> Sixteen ounces was too much. Yeah, like that's too. That's a shot of it was me. okay. Like, <laughs> that's too do. much. Yeah. Like a four ounce would have been good. What'd you, um, what'd you think? I'm not getting a lot of taste. I'm gonna get sexy Are with you? it and go six point no. nine. Oh, oh, for pool time. T- I don't know what those have to do with each other, but TJ. Oh, you know what you what you getting out of this? Six, six. <laughs> Wait, okay. All your right. scores Can are we... so rookie. Right. So it's so worse. You scored... so, you so this little... is worse than worse. the one that <laughs> what killed you, you. What are you saying? <laughs> Not by much, just, but by one. But one. All right, I'll just go with it. <laughs> I don't understand your logic. <laughs> it makes no sense. Um, I'll give it a six five. Okay, it's 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 okay. I don't know. I'm not usually a huge fan of cherry flavored things, but I don't know. I'll go six eight. Okay, it's not bad. I give six five a jalapeno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was slightly bad. better. That was, that was, I w- wish I could recap. That was high. That. I yeah. wish I could. Re- I'd score it lower probably if I could. Yeah. Father, well, we can't. Father needs to rate it now. Father, what do you think? I'd probably just say like a six seven. Okay, six seven, six yeah. seven. I think we're all in the six range. I just don't know how to rate it. I mean, like, I can't really. Right. I it's, can't tell if it's two cherry. It's a. You know, know, we should rate it when we get done with the beer. I think you have to sit it out. I think you have to sit outside. That's true. You have to sit outside oh, to yeah. enjoy this one. But it's one sip. Everyone knows the laws. And it says that on the can. <laughs> it's the rules. Time. It's the rules. <laughs> Is that what it? Yeah. I, I would get it again. It's not really like. Yeah. That oh, I would drink this. No. Wait. Here's, here's, here's how I like to. You gave it a six. <laughs> 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 and you didn't finish the jalapeno one. That was a seven. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I misfired on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. I was a little off my mark on the really jalapeno. premature on the seven. It, you were way seven, too excited. That last beer went from this is this, good. I can drink this. Oh, <laughs> <So> like, <laughs> never again oh, in I my can't life. Do it. I can't this anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I think I drank half of it, or maybe two thirds. Yeah, you got through. That's definitely a lot lighter than last time I felt it. Hey, That's man. what she said. I'm not gonna finish it either. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> really, I don't. Uh, All right, let's get into Logan. What do you what? What kind of torment are you gonna put us through? All right. Well, what the fuck you do. I've been nervous all day about this uh, game. <laughs> fuck <laughs> game. Uh, well, we got a plate here covered covered up, and what we're gonna do is we're each gonna take turns. These are the hottest wings that they have at oh, beat ups. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. The waitress was like, Are you sure you want to buy these? I said, Of course. So we're gonna roll the dice. The first person gets to choose which one they want. Obviously, the last person is gonna kind of have to take a bigger chunk. Yeah. So and they're boneless, which you know can go you can get it down faster. So here's pretty much what I'm thinking. We'll kill the wing as fast as you can. And then we're all gonna do fifty second rap battle. Oh, <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a, be, I got a beat programmed on here. Oh, oh my god! god. So With, yeah, this right. this could be very interesting. Does that have to be fifty seconds? Well, you, holy shit! You can so you time. you can rap as long as you can. Okay. But here's the thing: if you, if you fuck up, you have time to redeem yourself. Okay. But right. the loop is for fifty seconds, okay. and it starts off comical. So we're all gonna eat one of these, and then and then immediately hey. after you have to. Start freestyling. The clock starts freestyling. once. Okay, once. Good. Right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> right Colin, Colin, right Colin came up with this. Right in Colin's wheelhouse. He's gonna fucking crush it. <laughs> okay, so what? Um, I'll just do a bunch of. Uh, I'm gonna uh, be crying. Uh, You're, I'm literally gonna be busy crying. Father, Father, can you grab that deck of cards? Uh, that there you go. Let's. Uh, you want to do like high card or low card goes first? Yeah. yeah. And we we have to do them until those are gone. 
No, just one. I don't know why it puts so, so many on there. What, what's the deal with the cards? Because you couldn't just buy five, probably. Yeah, I had to buy a snack. What's though? the deal with the cards? <laughs> if anybody wants we're to playing, What are the other ones? We're playing yeah. DMs. Also. We're going to do, uh, we're going to kind of like a short straw. We'll do high card or low card. How which, about low card one? goes first? Okay. Oh. Low if you card. draw the ace of spades, you got to stick one up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm uh, in. Uh, let's see who gets all it. All right. Logan, Logan and Tyler, <laughs> if they draw the ace of spades, <laughs> no. they get stick Well, we're 50-50. Huh? Hey, I'm in for it. I think 50, 50% is... <laughs> what does that mean? If you're round is majority, up. Is majority? <laughs> no. no. I think it's half. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> I think that's... That's okay. That's a fault in democracy. We're all going to have to wipe with ice cream after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got waters I over there. I got about waters over there. Right. Right. Yeah, we got beer. You guys didn't even know what those waters were for, but I didn't, I didn't know really there was water down hey, here. Hey, I prepped that shit. I didn't know water was allowed down here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's, it is. it's fine. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I'm cool. not that strict. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you guys want to do? What's the sauce called? Do you know blazing. Mm. Have has, <laughs> now now Colin has had blazing. I've, I've had it. Before. Oh okay. So and it's really it's really pretty hot. This dude's gonna have it's hot really hot. pretty. <laughs> yeah. But as soon as okay, it's, it's really not that cool. As soon as you get done with your wing, <laughs> it's manageable, but it's hot. Tyler, listen. You listen, everyone listen. As soon as you're done with your wing. Give me the thumbs up, and then I'll start the loop. Because okay. I got it looping right now. I just have to press uh, headphones okay. on it. So. Okay. Anyways, pick a card. Low card goes first. Okay. Oh. Ace of spades? Nope. Wait, are we, doing, are we doing ace high or low before we... Uh, ace is high. Ace is high, okay. Is that the old maid? <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is the one you want. <laughs> Ooh, okay. But I don't want to go first. Oh, nice. You kind of do, though. But I kind of do. Oh. All low cards. What do you got? Oh, I got a four. Right. Colin's got a three. Jordan's seven. got a seven. Ooh, father Logan's playing? got a seven. Dude, you got Colin's that. first. Oh, you father, come father's on. Father's playing. We got, a, we got <laughs> enough chunks. The hottest ever. Oh, oh six or Are we going to do a back and forth? <laughs> no, we'll just... <laughs> Right. So Colin's going first. Bring that plate over so here. now God the it. good thing about not going Bring first plate over is you can kind of get a sense for the beat. Right. But the good thing about going first is you, you get to getting an over with. Yeah. And you get the small swing. And you get the small swing. Somebody's getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat the whole thing. There's a gargantuan. Yeah, you gotta finish the whole thing. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, let me um Oh shit. Well, I can go ahead and start eating, right? Yeah, you can you can eat it. All right, here we go. It's not so bad. <laughs> it's more tingly than hot. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. right, is it hot? So no, yeah. All right, did I grab the right ones? Are they, are they mild? <laughs> oh, these are mild. <laughs> Mm-mm. It's not hot. <laughs> they're not mild. Okay, they're they're the hot ones then. Oh shit! I missed the loop. We're gonna have to wait a second until it comes back around. <laughs> so they're the blazing. We wanted blazing. Is that hot? <laughs> it's hot. Okay. It's gonna get hotter though. Okay. I can tell. This is gonna build. So yeah. it's definitely. I didn't grab the wrong one. <laughs> Describe what you're feeling. It's getting warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you in the mood to freestyle? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin. You got about. Uh, you got about four. T- you got about. Two measures, so you're gonna be coming up here soon. And it, uh, it'll it'll give you a little yeah, this building. The it, color in his face just changed. It'll give you a little <laughs> intro. So you can oh, okay, good. you can come in right when the beat stop. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, is the Undertaker here? <laughs> Fuck. Start whenever you're ready. Yo, here I am sitting in wings. They're so hot, you think you can do it, but you cannot. Because, hey, seriously, these fuckers are spicy. When you know it, you'll kiss me. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't play. These things are gay. I don't like them. Get them away. I'm done with this song. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, you got more time to go if you want, unless you want that to be it. I don't want to rap no more. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is your home. 
so it's Facts. your rule. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Gonna drown my sorrows in the booze. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. No, that's true. No, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Am I hearing shit? Wait, well, that's how you know the song's over. Oh, the- Colin, that was very entertaining. Cheers for that. Huh? Cheers. Yeah, yeah that cheers. But here's where it sucks. Where you gotta sit here the rest of yeah, the time. Yeah, that's where yeah. being first would be definitely be the worst because you gotta sit there. But I mean, you gotta sit anywhere, no matter what. You can grab. You can stand. You that's true. Guess I'm kind of wrong on that one. Mm. <laughs> All right, who's up next? I think it's Tyler. Yeah, Tyler's got the four. What did I have? Oh, we only get to draw one card. Oh, I threw it yeah, back. keep it going. Over. <laughs> Definitely make him wait like I waited because that stuff yeah. builds. Okay. Yeah, we'll make him wait. Go ahead and, yeah, he should, I think the next person should have to load up during the person before them. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Mills towards the, oh, God. <laughs> Tyler needs some pepper. <laughs> he needs pepper. <laughs> we might have to get a two minute loop on for Tyler. I'll go on record and saying Tyler Wolf's the best freestyle. So rapper we can do now. it right now, or we can wait another time. Wait, wait another time. Okay, so let, you, him, let him get it now. You got you got another fifty seconds. He's chewing right now. How you feeling? Fifty seconds. Yeah, dude. Oh. Well, that's when the next loop comes because I didn't know how to do this, so I just yeah, looped it and, fine. and muted it. Just let it sit in your mouth. See how it's going. No, oh, swallow it because I think that's when it fucking. How you are you feeling? are you okay? You're kind of tearing it, up. It's hot. Yeah. I mean, it's going down now a little bit. Yeah. But it's fucking. It's, it's pretty hot. hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Is it the hottest wing you've ever had, or have you had hotter? I mean, Is it's, it's the say? hottest wing I've ever had, but up. I've had hot sauce like you know on your finger yeah. that's hotter. But Tyler has an affinity for hot wings. You guys knew that about your brother. But I hate him at the same time. It's crazy. It's weird. He, I like pain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I <need> pain. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> That's the name of my freestyle. I don't know I like what pain. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh yeah, I should have titled it, and then I had something to go off of. <laughs> All right, Tyler, you're coming up. Are you Are you about ready? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, no one. Are you feeling it. it? Yeah, it's hot. Hey, whatever happens, <laughs> happens. I'm nervous. I don't really like hot stuff. Yo, yo, yo. This song dedicated to my boys. I like pain. I like pain. Shout out Lil Wayne. Shout out Lil Wayne. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do more than that. <laughs> Shout out Lil Wayne. Got much time left. Wait, I, I got 30 seconds. Don't loop it back. <laughs> Let me loop it back. My heart is feeling black. Cause of this jalapeno, I need some jack. Daniels, Daniel is Callan's middle name. <laughs> Tell them so they don't think that I'm insane. It's true. Okay, you finish. Hey, you finish. <laughs> Let him go. You want, you want another shot at that, Tyler? I'll bring, back, I'm bringing it back. Yeah. I'm bringing it you back. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. You got it. You were in the movie. You're in the group. <laughs> you got yeah, it. Yeah, dude, we, la- we laughed when you were happy. You got it. <laughs> this song is called What's this song called again? I like pain. I like pain. I like pain. I like yeah. I like pain. DJ Khaled. I like pain, but it don't like me back. I even uh wrote it a love letter. I said check yes or no, do you like me? She didn't check any. <laughs> What does that mean? So I wrote another one, but I made sure the paper was green. (laughs) What's wrong with you? (laughs) She didn't write back again, but then I realized she was using the green marker. (laughs) Dude. I don't know if you can call that a rap or I just was, I was just I, saying I, words. That was spoken she word. Was using spoken that was a good joke. That was, that's more of a joke. Yeah. Yeah. The paper <laughs> was green. Oh my dude, god, dude. Oh god, my throat hurts, dude. Both of those are fucking funny. <clears throat> oh my god. 
Shout out, little one. Yeah. Shout out, little one. <laughs> this is every night at our house, by the way. Oh, yeah. I know exactly how it goes. <laughs> I feel like you've had some time to rehearse this a little. Jordan's sitting there fucking we, dying. We've made entire songs that'll never see the light of yeah. day. It's just <laughs> us two coming back. <laughs> you, usually, you usually... Where, where was you at when I was tying knots? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Father. Oh, yeah, Mills, Father. Are you ready for this or what? He's going to get have to get a headphone. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him borrow mine. Oh, God. <laughs> He's currently picking his wing. You want to do the big one? Oh, any one you want. It's your, it's dealer's you choice. Big one, right? Mills has picked the big one. I lo- yeah. I did not want to get one of them big ones. That's for sure. Oh, yikes. yikes! That was so far. Yeah, dude. That was <laughs> this kid every time. I literally almost fell off my chair. <laughs> He said it every time. He could, if he, he could go up and do a set in front of a bunch of people he doesn't know <laughs> and not have any material prepared at all and have it be the funniest thing ever. It's unbelievable. How's, How's that going, going now, Father? Yeah. It's pretty hot. Yeah? Yeah, I'm still feeling that. Are you still feeling it, Colin? It's, it's going it? down quite a bit. No, Jordy, we both got sevens. How's this going to work? Yeah, I don't know. What do you Rock, wanna... paper, scissors. Or shoot. you could do a collab. That's all I was saying. Okay. We could, Ooh, we could yeah, pick it nice. up off of each other's... We'll, we'll bounce off. Yeah. All right. Let it loop twice and just keep going. We'll loop it twice. That sounds good. <laughs> you ever just hate yourself? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> every day. Yeah, every you ever looked in the day. mirror? <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I hate that sucks. I, I don't believe in mirrors. <laughs> yeah. If I was president, <laughs> no more, mirrors. no more mirrors. Yeah, that's a good rule. You're right, bud. Letting it linger in there. Yeah, yeah, you did to take a big one. All right, we're at the end of one loop. You got about 50 seconds. To Father eat the biggest chunk. He did. Yeah, yeah well, he took him for the team, and it was sure. big. It was like a tender. Yeah. That was <laughs> it wasn't like... It a, was a finger or a tender <laughs> yeah. of some sort. What? What's a tender mean? Or finger. Tender loin. Actually, tender. I don't know. Chicken fingers aren't actually yeah, fingers. Chickens don't even have fingers. No, no you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. No, but they, they're in the... Where are we at in the loop? Um, Chicken fries. We got, we, got, we got a couple measures yet. You, yeah, you won't hear it. So. Let's see. One, two... We got three more bars. I'm going to check your voice in. Uh, you hear yourself, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, get him that mic more more close. Yeah, it's crazy hot. More yeah, good. More closer. More closer. No, no, you're good. Am I done. intimate enough? There you go. <laughs> no, that sounds sexy. All right. It's coming up. I can feel it in my face. <laughs> nice game, by the way. <laughs> Isn't this a good idea? Yeah. I kinda uh What's the countdown? Um we're uh last bar, so all right. it's coming up. Holy fuck, which one's my beer? <laughs> oh, you know what time it is. Damn, was a bike. Do you like that? I did that for you. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so hard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look, my face melting. I don't know, but I'm about to start smelling. <laughs> Wolf's been farting all day. Fact. All day. <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> my face is on fire, dude. Describe what you're feeling. Sweaty. <laughs> You're feeling sweaty. Big man, big bones. <laughs> All right, dude. That's that nice was, way to that was big bones. fucking Sweat on fire. Out. Sweaty. <laughs> How are you feeling? Sweaty. <laughs> Interesting adjective. I mean, it's fair. Yeah, it is. Could be an emotion. It's going down for you. Yeah. Mine's like really subsided. Really? Yeah. All right, Logan. Let's not let's I mean, not let's knock the rest of them out. You want to do this together? Let's knock let's knock the rest of them out. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Logan really? and Jordy Rob tied with they pulled sevens, so, so they're gonna go. You want to go halfsies on this one then? Oh no. He said knock the rest of them out. Oh the win- Oh, I see. What Wait. Oh, I thought this was Sue. Why is there not that much sauce on it? I don't know, dude. You're gonna All be right. thankful. So just this. 
I'm gonna do. Both. Oh, you're okay. Oh, shit. Ooh. If we had the dab, we would do it like hot ones. Respect. So at the very end, you got to dab yeah, it out. The last dab. Right. You got to. You can't leave two, right? What's the alternative? Yeah, you're right. Let's just do. Wait, this. mop up all that. <laughs> mop, yeah. mop up that excess. You want to mop up? One mop. One mop. Everyone knows the rules. Get them. <laughs> Toast those buns. <laughs> mop, mop, mop. Toast those. All right, buns. they're going down the hats. Cheers. All right. All right. Pray for me. Throat's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, it takes like thirty seconds. Actually, this beer helps subside it. This yeah, it pool does. time. Yeah, bitch, my, this pool chewy? time just went up. Mm, I can feel it already. <laughs> I'm about to be sweat. Mm-hmm. Who's taking first? Yeah, I'm now I'm like pitting. I'll go first. Yeah, you don't want to follow Jordy. <laughs> no, but we're gonna go back and forth. Oh, okay. Really I can wild. say I, I can <laughs> say I was on a track with Jordy Rob now. Yeah, right. <laughs> we already did a song together. We did. You're right. Shit. Yeah. Like a real song. Exclusive. Go find it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. Hey, if it's not on YouTube, it's not on YouTube. Good YouTube. fucking luck. On Dude, Netflix. Exist. How's that heartburn doing now? By the way. No, it's still there. <laughs> how's that heart? I, it goes up to my. How's that heartburn? I can't it's imagine. Do- it dies. I can't imagine it would have got better after this. <laughs> it goes up mm. to my throat and. Putting more in your mouth sucks because it just sits there and marinates. Yeah, I'm like I'm trying to get. It's hard. I'm, I'm sorry. That's, I'm taking that's true. I probably, me and Tyler probably had it really easy. You guys yeah, I can't. Yeah. Ones. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dude, what are the odds that Lil Wayne hears this and like Dude, I, hit you so up? I hope so. <laughs> please, please, pretty please good. God. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> he listens to all of our stuff. He's been waiting for a shout out, Lil Wayne. I wonder when they're gonna show. Oh, it gets worse when it's not in your mouth anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like when, yeah, you swallow it and it. That's what she said. Yeah, she did. Sorry, guys. She knows. It's going down. She's taking. (laughs) Beer me meals. She's usually. Yeah. Here we go. What were you saying? Thank you, brother. All right, Jordy, we'll come in on the next loop. Got it. Oh my god. You sweating? Yeah, dude. How many you gotta eat of the? How many, oh, that's not a sentence. How many do you have to eat to or get a question. t-shirt at B-Dubs? <laughs> like twelve mm. or ten? Well, that was like twelve and six minutes. Oh my god! You know, the beer doesn't make it better. Too. I thought the beer helped. You think? Oh, uh, <clears throat> it was mm. probably just it was right. going away anyway. Sign in. Yeah, I'm on fire. Beat though. You guys like yeah. it? It's an original. Yeah. It's an, you made this. Like it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. All right, here we go. Yep. <laughs> yo, yo. Remember yo, yo's. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Duncan butterfly when I was little. It's no big deal because I learned how to play the fiddle. From this dude that learned how to play the guitar. He was a shitty teacher, didn't know how to play it by far. <laughs> But this wing is hot as fuck in my mouth But I'm trying to hit home runs like Mike Trout Oh, that shit was fire, son Let's go home, wait, I am, hun Are you upstairs? I think I heard her come in I'm taking away too much time, it's your time to begin <laughs> Hey, Wait, you have to come in on the next episode Oh, wait, do I have to wait for you? Sorry, my bad I forgot. It drops again. I was, oh, a whole 50 I was, was mad nice. selfish. Mad selfish. Hey, I like cool. other people jumping in too. If you want to jump in, Wolf knows how this goes. We'll keep, we can, <laughs> we can, we can keep this looping for. We can make this a three-hour podcast. Oh yeah, we could just literally have this going the whole time. It's about to drop again. All right, Jordy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my mouth on fire. I am a sir. They call me sire. No, they call me master. I am so disaster. Wrist with the flow. Yeah, you know that I go so insane. Off the brain, off the top, off the dome. And I'm about to pull up in Colin's home and pet his dog. I think his name is Ghost. Or what is it? Casper. Is it Casper? It's Casper the most. Hey, Casper the most. Casper the most. I want a castle that's as big as a castle with a moat. And I will not demote, but I might promote everything that I am doing. Because I am just a goat, but... I am not Billy, no, I'm rapping too silly Yeah, I do it and I do it till I'm making two milli Maybe three, maybe four, I don't know She's a whore, I will put her on the floor Then I'll tell her that her face looks nice <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, that was dude, great that was awesome Dude, killer 
That was actually like cool to watch. <laughs> that was. Woo! It's fun. Yeah, that, that's fun. We can, we can do that all day. That was my a good tongue. time. Yeah, my that. mouth hurts. You were you didn't even look phased. You look, you look like you were struggling. I don't know why. You I still just, do. Yeah, it's, it's it's hot. I think it was in my mouth for too long. I couldn't get it down. That's, that's what it is. The <laughs> tongue. The tongue. I feel like is the worst. Like yeah. you got to keep it off the tongue. I don't know how you do Mine's that. Mine's completely gone. If it do makes you think really the smaller your tongue, the less spicy it is? <laughs> um, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Because then that's probably, so, you probably have a smaller mouth, so it's the same ratio of heat to mouth. But what if your mouth oh. is that what? a thing? <laughs> what oh, if you have, have a? You guys burped yet? Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Oh my god, it's hot. <laughs> have you, you haven't done it? No. Oh, don't do it. Well, do it if it's gonna save. Never mind. Is, okay, how are you? Are you good? Are you back to normal yet? I'm back to normal. You okay. are. Have I you guys seen Saving Private Ryan? <laughs> I've seen Saving Private Ryan. I don't know what you said, but <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Is that a porn? <laughs> saving Prior Ryan, I think. It was. Pirate Ryan. Pirate. Yeah. Saving. Is that what? Sail, sailing Pirate Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one with Johnny Depp? Was Johnny Depp in that? Yeah, there's like five of them. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a porn. <laughs> yeah. Saving Ryan's privates. Yeah. <laughs> That's saving definitely Ryan. a porno. Oh man, that was a good game, dude. Mm-hmm. That was fun. I think it, yeah, I, it really hasn't subsided yet. My my eyes are. So you, I don't want to be the only one to go for. I think I'm good. I'm just drowning it out with beer. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I no, don't go one? for the water. I'm back to normal now. I'm back to just normal, normal heartburn instead of. Or a, I'll severe. take a bu- I'll take a bush. He's back to normal heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer severe. <laughs> just moderate. Hey, um, so I was listening to the last podcast and I had a little beef with you guys. I mean, oh. I love you guys Hold and on. everything. I think I know what this is about. Is this Go about Boy Meets a, World? N- no. Okay. No. <laughs> but I, I get it. I get your whole... That's like the Old Town Road conversation. Let's have that conversation first. Let's bring it back. How do you guys feel about Lil Nas X, Old Town Road? How do you guys feel about it? Wait, did we make fun of it on the last episode? No, but this is the same kind of thing. Boy Meets World like theme song was a little poppy, right? Mm-hmm. A little poppy for you. So it's kind of the same conversation to have. I feel like I'm about to get yelled at. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> let's, this, let's talk about it. I'm going to yell at you about something different. I okay. Think. But uh, <laughs> Old Town Road. Old Town I'm Road, glad it's only it. two minutes and 15 seconds or whatever. Maybe that's the point. Yeah. No, that's right. what I'm saying. Like, I can handle that. Because it doesn't get old. Yeah. It's so short. Yeah. Yep. I feel the same way. Yeah. My, my take on it what's is. What's your artist take? I, I think, what's your fan I, take and your artist take? I think people that enjoy that song right now are going to look back in 10 years and be like, oh my God, that song is so corny. Like Crank That Soldier Boy? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. We were at B Dubs yesterday and, you know, Preston loves that song oh, yeah. and all of his buddies. It's like it's the, for it's for him. So it's for him. He goes up to the jukebox, plays that song in front of a packed B Dubs crowd. Comes back to the table. And I'm like, ah, that's... They, they know who put that song on. And they know you're sitting with me. <laughs> yeah, but I could. I bet a majority of people liked it. Hey, if I was so a, too, if yeah. I was a kid, I'd like it. I'd like. It's not a song for kids. Though. It's like a, let me I ask. Think it's let me ask. Everything. Have you guys heard his album? Do you no. guys know he came out with an album? I haven't, I haven't heard anything else by him. Guys, it's pretty good. Is, is it, it really? Like, he's not... That's the only song that's like that. He really. sounds like he knows what he's doing. His voice is... <laughs> yeah, he, it's it. He knew... It was yeah. calculated. The yeah. whole thing was yeah, calculated. Yeah, whole PR. Is yeah. PR oh, absolutely. But, no, I... So, yeah, the whole... But, like, how many times have you made a song like that just... Oh, maybe you didn't yeah. even make it. Maybe you were just, like, thinking it. At least I just, like... I get rap that. in country or something like that. Because it was fun. It was yeah, fun. He was fun. just having fun. That's yeah. why I love it because it's, yeah. it's fucking... Yeah. It's music and it's... He did it because he... I don't know. He wasn't well, trying yeah. to do nothing. I guess he was trying and to like, do something. But, things but that maybe blow he up. wasn't. Maybe he yeah. just knew it would work. Things that blow up like that, I used to like... Not like, just out of like spite. Yeah. Like, everybody like, I'm so sick of this. I don't and I try like, not to be that way. Yeah. I'm like, why not just... Fucking, it's on. Listen to it. Yeah. You know, who cares? You can't hate no, something think, just because everybody else likes right. it. Right, and that's like it's that's not, why that's why people hate it is because people like yeah, it. Right, I think exactly. they don't hate the song itself. They hate that people like yeah, it. Yeah, I think all four of us know music pretty well. Like we are very well versed in music. Um, but that song is a good song. Yeah, like it's it sounds great. Yeah, I think it's, it's I think yeah, it's like perfect. Like nice and short. It's it's all you need of that song. Right, in my opinion, I can see if it was a five minute song, I'd be like, okay, no way. <laughs> this is a little much. <laughs> can't no do way. it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the song at all. You what, me and him, me and we, Mills we, we argued over argued over <laughs> this song. Went after it a little bit. It's like, dude, come I was not on, a fan of it. just have fun. Dumbest, that is the dumbest thing I've heard. Dude, ever. father, I'm on your side, man. And, but yeah, no, which but I this, get it. This EP though, 
is Dude, like, the album. The two snippets that he like posted, I was like, <clears throat> that was all PR. So I was like, hey, everybody wants to hear what what the next Lil's, Lil Nas song is. Right. So, I mean, he did it right. Yeah. Who is this dude, by the way? Yeah. Where'd he come from? Kid just, from Atlanta. Just some kid that was in college and made is this he song. Young? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like He's everybody is. Now. 20, 20, 21. Wow. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I think he, he made this song. Never <laughs> been in a professional studio, anything. Because um, I was convinced that it was like a label orchestrated thing, but I'm not. I'm not too convinced now after hearing like the album. I right. can see why you thought that. Yeah, because it was literally perfect. That goes back to the whole like Spotify. It sounds like a mash. The, they make their money. They make their money off of like data mining and selling their data to labels. Is what I think. That shit scares me, man. Because they go by they go by dur- duration of the song, what okay. key the song is, yeah. like what pitch it's sung in. Like they go by all that. So Those everyone's making songs in the same fucking key. Yeah. Yes, that's so yes. scary. Yeah. That's and that's pop. Like it's it what, is pop. What gets your for. yeah attention yeah. or whatever? Yeah, but but don't. Don't you like diversity? Don't you oh, like yeah. min- like minor songs Absolutely. or you know? Yeah, which is what, and I don't understand like too much of that aspect. I just know that what I make is not all the same sounding, which is like what I want it to be. Like I would just yeah. make whatever I'm feeling in that moment. I capture that moment. Yeah, ago. but his like his album is actually pretty diverse. Like he has rock songs on there. He has a song uh, that interpolates Nirvana's "In Bloom." Nice. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Like he's kind of a rock. Like, what do you mean kid. by that? Is that like sample? Uh, inter- interpolation is like country grammar. Yeah, interpolation would be. It has the same melody, but the lyrics are slightly um, altered. Same melody, yeah. but the lyrics are yeah. altered. So okay. it's not. It's not sampling because sampling would be using using the actual track <laughs> okay. or using so, the same exact melody and the same exact. So it's lyrics. melody and altering the words basically. Yeah, a little if, bit. If you heard it, I'll play it for you after the podcast. But you'll okay. you'll know exactly what I mean. Like it's. It is the song, but uh, he cr- and he credits like Kurt Cobain yeah. and like his estate. Wow. In the oh, song absolutely! I feel like you have to, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's kind of cool. He's just trying to like blend genres more than do anything else. Um, which is that's actually dope. like no, what? that's that's so good for music, dude. That's what. Absolutely. That's how new genres get <laughs> yeah. created is when you mesh them. Yep. <laughs> That's like what I look for. Am I drunk or is that a, making sense? <laughs> like in an artist or a band, I, yes, like when they yes. d- when they don't try to like recreate their Grammy winning album because yeah. they already did it, and then they go to try to do something completely different, and most of the fans fucking like hate it. Yeah, but it's like okay, I appreciate them for not wanting to try to do the same thing over and right. over and over again. Like one of Even your favorite it, bands. Make one of my favorite bands is like Mumford and Sons. I've yep. loved them since anybody knew who they yeah, were. Yeah, you put me onto them. Yeah, you I think he, on you them. you put us all onto yeah, them. Yeah, all of us and too. like I've always loved them, and they had a big time <laughs> album. Their second album was huge, and it won album of the year. Mm-hmm. And they, you know they're acoustic and they're folky and and all that. And they came out, and their next album was electric guitars and more rock. And it like divided like the fa- like half their fans or most of their fans were like this is shitty this is not who you guys are right. and the band's like look we've played the banjos we've done that shit for <laughs> fucking the last ten years yeah you know we want to do something different. we were doing yeah. and I was like you know what I actually like that now it's because it was even just two albums in a lot of the shit started to sound the same mm-hmm. and then you go and go a completely different direction yeah. and it's like okay these guys have actual you know they can play different instruments and have different talents a lot stuff. of the fans I love hearing that shit a lot of the fans just wanted like an extension of the last album exactly now. and then that's yeah where why don't why don't you make more records like your grant well go listen to the go listen yeah, to that yeah, if that's what if you want to listen, listen to yeah you know, it's, it's already yeah, it's on it paper it's boring. it's boring it's boring as hell yeah you just as an artist you got to continue to develop and push change. it and yeah because yeah just like you like are for your, for your you're mental. maturing you're, you're you're discovering new sounds you're mm-hmm. Exercising new yeah. ways. And that's to when you know who your songs. real fans are. Are they a fan of right. just what you make, or are they a fan of you? Are they a fan like, of the song, or are they a fan of the artist? Yeah, it's, right. a, it's a lot. There's different. a difference. Bingo. And that's yeah. the thing too: is versatility is key. Absolutely, you be absolutely. You keep yeah. The Don't. Same thing. Why wouldn't you want to reach yeah. everybody that you possibly can? Right. Yeah. Tap into different markets when you start doing different music, right. and then you so start really, collabing, and yep. the sky's yeah. the limit. Like the old thing, like where they say, like um, obviously, like when you go to a concert, you want to hear some of the hits that your band plays or whatever. But like I'm more than ever interested in hearing new stuff, yep. you know. Like I want to hear. I'm the guy at the concert that wants to hear. Hey, we have a new song. Yeah, like oh dude, sign God. me up, dude. Like everybody else goes to the bathroom. <laughs> I'd be like the only one. <laughs> you know. Yeah, the exclusives. That's the thing about like, live dude, shows. Play me something different. Yeah, the live shows are supposed to be intimate. They're supposed yeah. to be an experience that nobody else can get. That's the part of the draw of getting you to a live show is that you're able to get something that people sitting at home don't get. So yeah, why not play them like new, different stuff? I do get that on one hand, but on the other hand, I do understand why people just want to sing along. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Play me, play oh, me some of the hits. Play maybe me, like one you know. song that's new. Yeah, yes, maybe. One, one or two, two, yeah. two new songs max. Yes, 
but I'm but, thinking, but I'm genuinely excited to hear it. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like, and nobody's yeah. in the audience hear it, so they're all and the nobody's same. singing back to it, yeah. so you can like literally hear it. Hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're still all together and listen to this. Yeah. And that's what's so hard heard. about being a new artist. Sorry, Colin. No, go ahead. That's what's hard about being a new artist. You're singing all your shit, and, and nobody knows it. Yeah. So you really got to sell it, and you really got to right be top notch performing on right. a game. Yeah. Yeah. True. What were you gonna say? What do you want to yell at us about? Now? Yeah, What's so um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are we in trouble? Um, so not so much, not so much Logan, but Colin. This is going good. I'm, so I'm an avid listener of the podcast, and uh, I was listening to the last episode, you know, rather closely, just to make sure I was prepared to come on here and uh, <laughs> caught one comment. Oh no! About <laughs> I say a lot of stuff about uh, movies in particular. Oh, uh, do you guys remember you, what was the beer last time you guys you guys went off of? Uh, flower power, right? And so you guys Austin got into Powers. the whole Austin Powers conversation, right? Yeah. Um, and then what he, what Colin started saying about uh, Michael Myers was that wait, Mike have, Myers or Michael Ma- Myers? Mike Myers, sorry, uh, <laughs> not, Michael Myers. Not, hey, not does that can not look like not uh, the murder? It does look like an Austin <laughs> Powers beer. Me. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I, I agree up to the point where he said. Um, the love guru was oh, trash. Dude. Oh, was you did say that because it is. Uh, I'll, I will stand by that. Well, let's hear this debate. Mm, all right. Well, let's get into it. What's your What's your synopsis on? <laughs> it's awful. Okay. Why? I didn't. I didn't think it was funny at all. We quote that movie probably dude, way. I've only seen it one time. Maurice Gahargate. <laughs> 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 there he is. Yeah, yeah. I can't. <laughs> Bl- <laughs> Heaven I can't Fry get behind spe- it. Heaven Fry specifically dude, would yeah. be very upset if I didn't come on this podcast and defend that. Okay, defend that. Can I make blown. a confession? <laughs> Absolutely. I've seen probably an hour of it. Okay. And I, that's all I can do. I think it's a two-hour movie. That's all I can do. I've like turned it off, and I've tried a couple times. I'm like, I, I can't. I don't know. It's just not good, <laughs> and there and there are shitty movies that oh, I like. Absolutely, you know yeah, that yeah, I think yeah. are funny. Can I ask you a question? That's just not one of them. If I've been asking a lot of questions and asking people if I can ask them a question a lot, have you ever read half a book and just stopped all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Dude, feel like I seriously finished. own books that I've read half of, and I still haven't. Like, Why do you do that? I don't know because I'm not. It like loses my interest, and then yeah. I'm done. I feel like doing it to a book is more invested. Ooh, like you gotta. Yeah. yeah. Why would you not finish it? I don't know. You're a loose end type of guy. Then I don't know how to finish. Well, because you could, books you are be different. like so invested in something, and when it takes a turn that you don't like, you just fucking. Books are different. Books are not more of I hate this. I'm putting it down. Books are like I get halfway through, and then it's good, but it's I, nice out for three weeks yeah, straight, and I forget what I read, and I just never go back. Do you do that with like series too? Like Netflix series. Oh, all like the that. time. That's what yeah. I do. With oh, yeah. I, I do that for months at a time. Where I'll yeah. in the middle of a season, I won't go back to it until yeah. like Peaky Blinders, dude. I did that. I didn't finish oh, it. You I hear that's a good show. Oh, Peaky, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. I'm gonna have to pick it up one of these days. I'm gonna have to pick it up, put it down, and pick it back up one of these days. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Because it's hard to it's hard to binge shows all the way through like. Ooh, not for me, dude. For me, it is. I just finished Thrones in a month. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. How many hours is that? Um, a lot. <laughs> it's eight, eight seasons, so that was like, like full time. The watching. first five. Oh yeah, it was while I was. Are they hour up. episodes? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then the last, the last two wow. seasons are like an hour and fifteen minute episodes. Wow. But they're only six episodes long. Most of them were ten yeah. episodes. But yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's I awesome. just throw it on when I'm like actually working on music and stuff. I literally just throw it on because I need background music when, or background sounds while I'm. White noise. Yeah, I can't have just silence that drives me nuts. What about when you go to bed? Do you sleep with a, like a TV oh, yeah. on or fan? fan all day. I, a fan no voices. It's gotta be I fan. have to have voices. I can't sleep with the TV on. I and a light can't be on in the room. Even if like no the clo- light. Even if like the closet lights on and the doors like yeah, I can't do that, that shit drives me nuts. Yeah. Yeah, really? I, can't do that. I need at least like a TV like on or something. Yeah, I need voices. No, I need voices. No, the TV, the TV is fine. But I'm saying if there's a if there's a light coming through a crack of the door. That shit, like a hallway light coming through a crack of the door. I have to have a pitch black and yeah, a fan going. Really? But I, I like the TV on. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's. I like falling asleep watching like ridiculousness or some shit. Yeah. Oh, I can't. That's too hype for me. <laughs> you guys, well, I'm you guys a bit of a badass, Jordan. Don't, yeah, that's true. You don't, <laughs> you fall, you don't fall asleep on ridiculousness. Well, you guys knew I'm narcoleptic, right? You guys knew that the whole thing I've told you guys that. before. Yeah. Do you have documentation? I do actually. Do you have documentation? Yeah, my doctor. I'll get you a hold of Mills. What's your? What do you prescribe? Contact our doctor. Um, so I am a type two narcoleptic, which means I don't have cataplexy. I just have, 
I'm missing a level of my sleep. Which means he sleepwalks and then he fucking lays on top of me in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait, does that mean? Does that mean? <laughs> That's happened multiple it's times. It's happened. Does it mean <laughs> you like literally fall asleep when you drive? <laughs> oh, dude, you too. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> why yeah. do you, Why do you have a license? <laughs> um, I'm not sure why they let me keep it, but um, no, dude, I that's so asleep. dangerous. Yeah, I fell asleep. Well, no, I'm on medicine now. Um, so I'm on medication. So would now, you fall but, asleep randomly, or is that like level uh, no, one? No. So that's or? cataplexy. Cataplexy is when. Oh. You, yeah, and I thought usually, narcolepsy was where you just like. Right. No. So that's narcolepsy is just like Mr. Bean or yeah, Mr. Bean, but you know, Mr. Bean. What did you say? Rat race. What did you say? He said Mr. Bean, not Mr. Bean, but Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> and he got exactly I got wrong movie, movie but the same guy. Yeah, same dude. Yeah, same thing. He's fucking Mr. Bean. Though. Yeah, like Mr. Not care. Mr. Bean. Nobody I don't care what his name is. Yeah, no, his name? Colin would know his name. Rowan Atkinson. All right, you're there we fucking go. right. Yeah, yeah, Goddamn. Z- <laughs> Zazu. <laughs> Voice of Zazu in the original. You ever got a question about <laughs> anything? Ask Colin. Yeah. No. Anyways, that's interesting. How like how long have you had it? Forever? Uh, yeah, I found out my. Well, I probably had it for longer than I've known, but junior year of college, I fell asleep driving. I was on my way to Tiffin for a baseball game and fell asleep at Six's Corner. Oh, um, that's not a good place to yeah. do it. And luckily, there was a car in front of me. I just tapped it, and they there was no damage, so they let me go. But I had to tell this my, was like middle I had to tell of the my day? mom. Yeah, middle of the day. I had to tell my wow. mom. Uh, yeah, I probably probably should get something looked at. So no, I went and got sleep test did. done and everything. Yeah, but that yeah. could have been way worse. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, I have really weird like sleeping patterns and just the way that I go about. Things. I've slept walk more times than. Wolf I woke count. up cuddling to Jordan more than. Do you I have should. to like and lock he, and your he doors? Didn't up, he didn't get up either. Does he uh, like? No, I crawl he, into bed with you and become the little spoon. Dude, or, yeah, I've been. Both. He no, he's spoon. laid literally on top of me. Yeah, and like I wake up and I'm like. I thought it was like his. I'm so confused that like I just <laughs> you just let it. I kind of go. You with let it, it go. Like, yeah. Tyler's like, I love you too. It's like, <laughs> why now? I think yeah, yeah. Jordan, it's short and it's late. We got, we, <laughs> we got company. <laughs> Literally is insane. Yeah, and I'll have no. Recollection and like I don't want to wake him up because then it'll be like what, no, like, don't. You're not supposed to be your even. Ass, he'll yeah. be even more. He'll think that you Cre- did it or yeah, something. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, I've never waking waking up from, but I've had probably since then maybe. 20, 30, like sleepwalking. Does episodes. that mean you can't but go But you don't out? have a problem going outside? Um, like you would stay in the house? I don't know. You don't know? I honestly have no clue. Yeah. I need to start. They said I need to start locking like my bedroom door. That's what I was thinking. Probably your windows too. To see, yeah. You think I can climb out a window sleepwalking? <sighs> no. Never know. Yeah. If probably, it's, if it's open, impressive. there's probably more things going on than I know. But hey, you know what? I'm Are not, you I'm unable here. to go through like REM sleep? Do you have dreams? No. So the issue is that I fall into REM mode. Too quickly, so oh, I don't. Yeah, I okay. don't have a level two. I think there's three or four levels of sleep. I'm missing the level right before REM sleep. So three, I fall level three. Yeah, I fall right. I fall right from light sleep into deep REM mode deep, yeah. sleep. Well, I guess it would be. I fall from whatever mid level sleep, skip deep sleep, and go right it. into REM mode. Yeah. So I can start. I can start dreaming in like three minutes. Like that's from the time insane. Of like, and that's when you lose. Not, that's when yeah. you lose all. Yeah. function and yeah and part of that is like sleep paralysis I oh yeah you guys ever heard that? i get that all the time not yeah. all the time but we've had a yeah on the podcast we've yeah. talked about i've it. had it one time and it freaked me the fuck out where you can't yeah. move your body but yeah. you're being your head's terrible. awake and you're like all right move i had that and tw- you can't it's i've had that twice in the last, had that. i've had that twice in the last week damn it's fucking damn. freaky yeah. i hate it every minute do you try to like scream for help but it won't yeah. the words won't come out yeah that's how i wake myself up i try to just yeah. scream as loud as i can and usually you can just like snap out of it but yeah it's pretty scary yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like your mind's awake, it. but your body's done, and you can't do anything. And you can't, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. So that's that's basically like, why right, just lift, just lift like your right finger, and you fucking can't do but it. But you can like kind of do that in lucid dreaming too. It's the same. It's it's one of the same. Lucid dreaming is better though. Cause Isn't lucid yeah. dreaming like I used to be able to do that all the time? Yeah, like you, it's like you realize you're in a dream. You know sleep, you're in a dream. Sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis is, is you're your, a, you're awake. You know yeah, yeah, you're yeah. awake. But, but your body is asleep. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's because it I've been be... lucid dreaming and like been like, okay, I'm trying to like fuck some get bitches. out of this dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true though. <laughs> where are, yeah. where are all know, the titties? I know you have. Where's the where's titties now? I can, I can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Let titties on one, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> titty titty mountain. Dude, titty I do the, I'm going I skating. Have, I had titty one. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Titty mountain. Just keep swimming. Dude, yeah, no, that I have weird, really, really weird dreams. Do you but. dream in color or black and white? Color. I, mean, I dream in color. Vivid, vivid, vivid color. I got a lot of, um, Tori says she dreams in black and white, and there's... Really? Well, there, there's a thing about that, isn't there? 
Yeah, but I, don't, I haven't dove too deep. They into say, that. I don't, how do you know? But they say everybody dreams in black and white. Oh yeah, you remember I've never in color. Seen color. Well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. That's re- yeah. that's reception. Then. That's what I've heard. Well, is color real? That's what we see. That's you what could, I've heard. You could back it up to that. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Have you guys ever lived through? <laughs> have you guys ever lived through like the moment in your dream that's supposed to kill you? No. Yes. Me too. It's and it's one weird. one time. One time I lived. I I died and I was still. Awake? Yeah, yeah. How I was. Creepy I was. That? I was killed. This was a long time, like probably fifteen years ago. I was killed by a knife, and I and I fell like two stories down, and then like it was like an out of body experience, kind of where like what? the whole funeral shit was going on, and I was crying. Oh, my, you went through mm, the whole thing. Oh, dude, yeah. I, I you saw, went through the arrangements. You went, <laughs> <laughs> the arrangements. Like, you I went through the morgue. Yeah, but there was. Man, there was that's, that's pretty, there was no like. Cool. There was no timeline. It just. There's no timeline. It just all <laughs> happened like yeah. at one time. You know. Right. Yeah. Dude, in a lot of my dreams, I'm always getting chased by like somebody that's trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. And like, <laughs> I always tell myself before I go to sleep, like, all right, if I go through this again, I'm going to just run at the dude. Like, I'm not going to fucking run away from this dude. And and have you ever I never do. Dream, and you're like, <laughs> fuck this! <laughs> like, fuck the fuck out of here. Fuck it. Dude, Again. real Tyler didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> it's like, this. dream Tyler is a pussy. <laughs> yeah, and, But real Tyler is like, a hard ass. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You can't make the two things coexist. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It's pretty weird. Dreams mm-hmm. are weird. They are. So, hey... Are we allowed to promote one of your songs on our podcast? Absolutely. You can do two if you want. You can do a new one and the single. I'll let oh. you do whatever you want to do. What, no, dude. It's whatever you want to do. Yeah, let's do that. I'll Which ones? You... Look, um, name, name them off so we know where we're going All right. So to. the single that just dropped is called One More Time. That's the one I talked about earlier. I've mm-hmm. uh, been working on it for like good a year. Good song. Ish. Listen to that shit. Yeah, it yeah. is a good song. Yeah, good weekend song too. Good vibes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Positive vibes. Absolutely. And that's what we're going to stick with. Good summer song. Uh, we're going to do One More Time. What what new song you think you want to go with over here, Mouse? I can do, ooh, I know one. Um, we're going to do, I actually just finished this. I don't think Wolf or Tyler has heard it, but it's called Mama, I'm Doing Fine. Okay. It's another another, another good mm-hmm. vibe song. It's probably going to be the last song on the EP, um, but that'll be a good one to play off. That so. sounds like it might be personal. Uh, no, actually, it's no, just, it's, it's more of a, like, so to give you, like, a little rundown on what the second project's going to be, it's just more of, like, I went through a lot in the last, like, year, year and a half. Sure. That's kind of the first uh, EP that dropped, the Thanks for Nothing EP, it kind of, uh, it's good vibes, but also it kind of tells a story, and that was more personal. This one is more of a coming to age, like, hey, okay. everything's gonna be all right. Like, okay, cool. we're finally actually doing stuff and making like moves that. and getting traction. So, um, yeah, this is just more of a, hey, we're here. Like, this is our announcement. We're here to stay. So, can I ask great. a pretty like blunt question, real quick? Absolutely. I, I don't know if, like, the title, like when you thought of the title, "Thanks yeah. for Nothing," is that geared towards something, or is that? Yeah. And you don't have to share it if you don't no, want to. No, yeah. I mean, I I have no, like, secrets. I think even if you listen to the songs, you can kind of tell okay. um, what it's about. So it's definitely a personal yeah. just recap of okay. the, a relationship that I went through prior. Right. Um, and it's just more of a metaphor for just relationships that I've had in okay. my past as gotcha. well. Um, but so it means something to you? It definitely means something to me. Like, Th- that's like how it is now. Like, everything gets, like, taken, like, just picked apart. Like, yep. okay, somebody named a song this, or, you know, this was dropped in a movie trailer. What is it? It's like, yep. what does everything mean? Yep. And, and it seems like everything now has a meaning behind it. Where it's not, and I like how but, he can take something that made him sad and make it sound. Oh, like, uh, like yeah. yeah. Like, happy. happy. Yep. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. That's and a, make other people the, happy. Yeah. 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 That's pretty... That's awesome. Man. You make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was nice. I mean, like, I guess kind of having, like, the the people that we have in the background that helped right. me through that shit. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, when all that stuff happened, and I just pretty much, like, I didn't mean to, like, rain on his parade, but I was just like, studio, now. Yeah. 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 Now. Get in here and talk about it. You so need to express yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Talk yeah. about it. That's yeah. your, that's your mm-hmm. outlet. Because I'm the same way. That yep. music is our outlet, dude. Yep. And I'll, we'll always have that. It's the only thing that you makes know? you feel like anything, everything's gonna be okay at the end of the day. And you know what I mean. That's just kind of when you're when you're uh, when you got nothing left, you always have music. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad we both picked it back up, dude. We're back. me too, dude. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's dude. keep it going, man. I'm yeah. really excited to hear your next project, and yep. uh, I have a song that's gonna be out. Uh, on top of the kind of like a single, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. If we're gonna make another EP or whatever, but we have another song that's gonna be back soon. So, 
Me and Jordy making moves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good absolutely. Guys. Nice. Cool. I, wish I'm I, coming I wish I had the talent for that kind of Me outlet. too, dude. That'd be awesome. But I wish to... <laughs> My outlet is being a sarcastic, dude. My, my outlet is being a sarcastic asshole. Hey, everybody it works. That's great. something that everybody can enjoy, though. No, absolutely. Man. Are you guys about ready to wrap this yeah, up? This hey, I've had one. a great time with yeah, all you guys. This is a good one. Fun, man. Thanks Father, for nice, on. nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. thanks for coming, Father. <laughs> Uh, th- Rob. Thank you guys, man. Thank you for having me on. I can't wait to come back. Oh yeah, yeah. you're Absolutely. welcome anytime. We missed our uh, one of our favorite New guests. Year's. Uh, I know we missed it. We, <laughs> we missed, missed it. it. I was busy. I, I was know. busy working on. I think problems. so were we. We didn't even yeah, do one. Nobody, nobody got together. But, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're not going to wait cool. so long next time. We'll, Absolutely, I'll be back on very we soon. Will, get and it. then we'll have Sounds to pick good. up next time you have an EP or a record out. We'll get together. We'll promote it. Absolutely, man. We'll get hotter wings soon. next time. Hotter yeah. wings next time. <laughs> oh yeah, we need a challenge. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Right. We'll see you next time. Peace, Peace out. Mike ain't got a pivot, Mike. Turn up on you out of spite. They chase me like they out of spite. That Tito like the sunny, right? Broke by drinking pinnacle. That blessing won't appeal again in the mirror. Make a miracle. They want to play with me, lay with me, vibe with me. But when I call they bullshit, they despising me. The truth to feel like bed sheets if you lie with me. Wonder if we're ever gone. It goes on and on. Can't stop thinking that I'm not enough. And I'm way too honest when I write a song That's why my mama's always worried about the lines for drugs hey. Mama, I'm doing fine A lot of things on my mind Gotta just slow it down Everything comes in time So I am standing by the bar with the drink in my hand And I'll probably make a mess, but I make me a man Every time I slip and miss falling I'ma go Songs about Atlanta, hey, 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 now I'm bossy, damn it, I'm exhausted, tired of just selling tickets, open and be awesome, no, I'm not from Boston, I ain't trying to sell tickets, can't compare my hype and fear, and I didn't even sell tickets, hey, hey, I'm too hot to party, shirt off, I'm sorry, keep these bounces off me, they saw me, they saw D, cause I'm young and thriving, and they ain't even trying, they ain't even trying, I'm on a mission, all ambition, circle strong like what I'm sipping, touch it, tap it, that's your Bitches can't be taking pictures Oh, I know it took long just to get to one day But I'm glad I did it my way It goes on and on But I think I'm done thinking that I'm not enough Yeah, I think I'm done thinking that I'm not enough Said I'm really done thinking that I'm 